Flintstone House, The Hobbit House. Of course, the one that really stuck was Mushroom House. We so, didn't want a square box. Yeah, right. <laughs> that was our downfall. There was this old stucco house built in 1922. I heard about this architect pitching this foam construction. He showed us a structure he had done in the woods, and it was wild, it was amazing. But we were kind of hooked. Before the house was finished, we started getting traffic. We'd come home late at night, and with a flashlight, walk around the construction. Some things were being done that were not real appealing. To us. To us. <laughs> the top of the mushroom house was a giant penis. And the powder room was a scrotum and penis. There were destroyed oh, breasts, bre yeah, all, breasts around all around the house. The house. So that's, that's when, when we, we parted, parted ways. ways. <laughs> we did a circumcision on the roof. You know. And the powder room. Yeah. And that's when it really became us. My relationship with Fran we're soulmates. Okay. We're really like one person. <laughs> I said to her recently, I don't know where I would be if it weren't for Fran. I was really like a lost soul. And with her, we just became one and did everything together. Kids in the early 70s, they would park on Allen Road across from the house and smoke weed <laughs> and look at our house. We never Allen. smoked weed. No. <laughs> People never believed that. They always thought we were high most of the time. Yeah, yeah. Everybody thinks, oh, you must really miss that house. It wasn't so much the house. It was what it created for us as a family. But once we sold it, we walked away and it is kind of fun walking out of our current house and seeing the mushroom house directly across the street.